Hello friends, good morning and welcome to this second session of Salesforce CRM integration with ServiceNow SAM. Myself Dilbert Jyoti Das from Product Success Team of ServiceNow and I am a Product Success Architect primarily dealing with item modules. In the last session, we have looked into the first step of this integration, which is how to configure or register an application in the CRM application of Salesforce. We have went through the guided setup that Sam has offered and have used the first step of that guided setup to configure the CRM side of this integration. Now, in this session, we will go through the ServiceNow part of the configuration. We will look into creation of Salesforce integration profile and creating the needed connections and credentials so that the integration can start happening. So let's go to the portal and execute rest of the steps of guided setup. We are into the workspace. I have already opened the profile creation activity of Salesforce in the workspace, we have completed this step, which is configuring the Salesforce application in the Salesforce CRM console. Now, the next part is creating the integration profile. So now we are executing the second step, which is profile detail step. We will put a name there. I will use this one. You can put any name and say mark it as complete and we'll move on to the next one so here it is about asking or creating the connection and credential at service now end so this step has to be executed in our classic interface this credentials i must say will help you in this activities downloading the subscription and reclaiming subscription as well now what you need to do is we will be executing all these steps we just need to click here so you are directly navigating to the classic view mm -hmm. create new credentials connections and credential and now we have to set the data here so now we are into this connection and credential form let's give it a name say salesforce serum and the connection you are in which will be the url of your salesforce so let me copy paste it and then uh, the oauth client id this should be the consumer key that we have copied in our first step and uh, oauth client secret will be our consumer secret so i am pasting them here so I have pasted the consumer key here and consumer secret here. Now the redirect URL should be the URL of our ServiceNow instance where I'm setting up this integration. So I will paste the URL here. And then you do create and get authentication token so the system is trying to validate the connection and obtain the authentication keys now the system has generated tokens refresh tokens and access tokens for the integration to happen in order to validate that you just need to go into system uh, navigation and say open authentication and manage tokens so under manage token you could see one access token another refresh token is auto generated so basically this output means connection exercise that we did in uh, in the previous step has successfully passed through access token is the token our integration will use to load the data from salesforce and refresh token is something that our system will use to obtain new access token whenever it is needed you basically access token is supposed to get expired in 27 minutes and uh, after that our system will automatically take the refresh token and obtain another access token from salesforce 
Now, refresh token is also scheduled to expire by three months, but again, post three months, system will automatically obtain another refresh token. That's how the process revolves around obtaining the tokens. Here is a useful tip. Sometimes, due to unknown error, if you see the token has not been refreshed, refreshed being this date will be refreshed to you know future time and date. You can do this shortcut, or it's more like a platform admin job who can do this shortcut. He just need to go into the connection, access the Salesforce connection. And this is the credential and just say get authentication token. So it will then refresh the authentication tokens here. Now going back to the guided setup, we have completed these steps. Let's switch it on. Let's check it on. And now let's move to the next step so we have also completed this steps where we have given the connection name url and all the steps this are the steps to obtain the valid token so i will check all of them on and we'll move on to the next step which is connect to additional Salesforce uh, organization. This is an optional step where if you want to connect to different instances of Salesforce, you can follow this step and create child analysis and under the child analysis, you house different connection credentials uh, for the connectivity with different Salesforce application. We do not have a multi-tenant setup in this video, so I will simply skip it. Now, this is the last step. Now we have to verify the detail of our connectivity. Salesforce CRM profile is what we configured here. Salesforce is the spoke that we are looking for. Let me type it again. Here you go. And profile type is what we set for. And this are the flows, sub flows that will actually do our job, downloading the subscription or reclaiming the subscription. Now we will publish this actually connection. Now you could see this is the profile and jobs started running. One is uh, refresh Salesforce CRM subscription, another is the consumption. So we will wait for the job to complete now we uh, we are into the detail of the uh, profile you could see two jobs here refresh salesforce consumption and refresh the subscription and the jobs have completed now what should be the outcome the outcome is creation of software model so remember in our first video we have seen our environment was not loaded with any Salesforce model. Now you could see after the job has run, model table has been filled with the Salesforce applications. Now next is we can validate how the user subscription table got impacted. So just come here, let's do a grouping on uh, subscription profile and now you could see 27 record has been created from Salesforce just now. Thus the integration has went through successfully. It has faced the needed data in software model as well as from user subscription. So in the next video we will load entitlement and run the reconciliation process and try to infer the license positioning of Salesforce CRM application. Okay then, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.